Indiana Jones was not so well known, like between the communists, so they didn't understand that I'm copying capitalist culture. I grew up in Prague. I was interested in movies since my early age. I was going to see uh, basically all the movies released in Czech Republic. There were not uh, Hollywood movies in our theaters, except some uh, very few exceptions. I saw the name of the movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and I was completely blown off. It was so different from anything you could see in our cinemas and that basically made me a film fan and I was trying to incorporate my love of Indiana Jones into video game. I started being interested in programming uh, maybe in very early 80s because of my uncle who was doing some stuff with computers at that time. At first I was uh, working with programmable calculators and I was also programming just on the paper without computer. That was basically my whole life. I didn't have any social life. I wasn't interested in girls until I would say 18 or 19 years. I was a very strange person for most of the people around me. At that time, if you wanted to play video games on your computer, you had to program those video games. You couldn't go somewhere and uh, copy video game from someone. I think about two years, I made maybe 200 video games for it but no one else may probably play them because I didn't know anyone else with this computer in our country. There were already many text games before that, but most of those were like, imported from uh, capitalist countries and they were in English. And uh, I thought, well, that would be interesting to make uh, like text game in Czech. The theme, the character of Indiana Jones, that was because I liked it so much and it was like the epitome of the capitalist movies. I uh, read some very basic information about the second movie and just the idea of there being a new Indiana Jones movie, which I haven't seen, was so exciting for me that I made my game to be about the plot of the second movie, uh, which I guessed at and only later I discovered I was completely wrong on all accounts. Basically, the whole, uh, whole of my game was only the prologue of the first movie compressed into, into one game. It was illegal for me to use existing IP, like Indiana Jones. Nobody cared at all about this. All the games at the time were copied only in the way that we met personally with, with, with my friends and I personally made, made them a copy on my tape recorder and they made a copy to their friends and so on and so on. Only after a revolution there were first attempts at, at some kind of uh, official game distribution and selling official games from shops. I made uh, three of them. The second and the third one were called just Indiana Jones 2 and Indiana Jones 3. It's interesting, I think uh, I am more and more popular each next year. There are definitely some retro people who still play uh, old games, including my games, but uh, I don't. I think those people are not uh, entirely okay in, in their heads.